Good day, learners. I am Miss Tin, your guru Kamigo. Hello, kids. Sit back, watch, and have fun learning English Grade Two, Third Quarter, Week Two. Today, we are going to talk about synonyms and antonyms. In this lesson, you are expected to recognize that some words have same meaning are called synonyms and opposite meaning called antonyms. As a learner, you may enrich your skills through different vocabulary strategies such as synonyms and antonyms. Synonyms show the sameness or similarities of words, while antonyms show their opposites. The set of words are examples of synonyms and antonyms. Set A presents words that show similarities in terms of meaning. They are called synonyms. Examples are Happy, glad, big, large, fast, quick, child, kid, tiny, little, rich, wealthy, beautiful, pretty, begin, start, false, and true. Set B are list of words with opposite meanings. They are called antonyms. Examples are happy, sad, big, small, Fast, slow, child, adult, tiny, big, rich, poor, beautiful, ugly, begin, end, false, true. Learning Task 1 Match the items in column A with their synonyms in column B. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. Are you done? It's now time to check your answer. Number 1. If your answer is letter C, afraid, you are correct. Number 2. If your answer is letter B, rich, that's another point for you. Number 3. If your answer is letter A, tidy, you are right. Number 4. If your answer is letter D, silent, you are correct. Number 5. If your answer is letter E, fast, you are correct. And number 6. If your answer is letter F, write perfect. Did you get a perfect score? Wow, that's nice! Learning Test 2. Match the items in column A with their antonyms in column B. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. Are you done? It's now time to check your answer. Number 1, the correct answer is letter A, above. Number 2, the antonym of the word close is letter E, open. Number 3, the correct answer is letter C, sad. Number 4, the antonym of the word man is letter F, woman. Number 5, the correct answer is letter B, and. Number 6, the antonym of the word code is letter D, hot. Did you get a perfect score? Wow, that's nice! Learning Test 3 Write synonym if the given words have the same meaning and antonym if they are opposite. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1, small, little. Number 2, true, false. Number 3, 
home, house. Number four, left, right. Number five, good, bad. Number six, difficult, hard. Are you done? It's now time to check your answer. Number one, the correct answer is synonym. Number two, the answer is antonym. Number three, home and house are examples of synonym. Number four, the correct answer is antonym. Number five, the answer is antonym. Number six, Difficult and hard are examples of synonym. Did you get a perfect score? Wow, that's nice! Learning task 4. Read the words on the left and circle their synonyms and box the antonyms. Do this in your notebook. Are you done? It's now time to check your answer. Number one, if you box the word correct and encircle the word false, you are right. Number two, if you encircle the word tiny and box the word big, you are correct. Number three, if you encircle the word simple and box the word hard, perfect. Did you get a perfect score? Wow, that's nice! Learning Task 5 Find the antonym of every underlined word in each sentence. Choose your answers from the given choices inside the box. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1 I would like to have some hot water. The underlined word is hat. What do you think is the antonym? Number 2. Nathan was mad when he received his gift. The underlined word is mad. What do you think is the antonym? Number 3. Our exam was very easy. The underlined word is easy. What do you think is the antonym? Are you done? It's now time to check your answer. Number one, the correct answer is cold. It is the antonym of the word hat. Number two, if your answer is happy, you are correct because that is the antonym of the word mad. Number three, the antonym of the word easy is hard. Did you get a perfect score? Wow, that's nice! For the final part of this video lesson, in your notebook, complete the paragraph by selecting the correct answers from the choices below. Are you done? It's now time to check your answer. Number one, the correct answer is vocabulary. Number two, if your answer is same, you are correct. And number three, the answer is opposite. Did you get a perfect score? 
Wow, that's nice! Great to learners, remember, synonym refers to a word that has the same or nearly the same meaning with other words. It is the same or similar to the given word. Here are the following examples. Circle, round. Neat, clean or tidy. Smart, intelligent. Antonym refers to the exact opposite of another word. It has an opposite meaning with the given word. Examples are hard, soft, hot, cold, clean, dirty. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you had a great time learning with me. See you next time. Bye!